What's up guys? This is Tyler from Typhoon Gaming and welcome back to another Mario Maker video. Today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial video showing you how to item wall jump. And this is a trick that you can only do in the new Super Mario Bros. U style because that's the only style that you can do the wall jump in. Uh, but basically this trick is wall jumping while you're bringing an item with you. and. Um, as far as I know, the only items you can do this with are the P-Switch and the Spring. And um, if you guys don't know how to do this trick yet, I recommend that you start with the Spring and then move on to the P-Switch. Uh, just because the Spring is more forgiving since it doesn't really have a hitbox and it won't bounce off Mario. Whereas the uh, P-Switch, you have to be a little bit more accurate with your throws because it will bump into Mario and sometimes fall to the ground. So anyways, I made a quick level that you can go uh, check out. It will be down below in the description if you want to play it. It is a quick tutorial level, but the ending trick is a little bit difficult. I apologize, but I thought it was really cool, so I had to include it. Without further ado, let's get right into this, and I'll show you this trick and how it is done. So first of all, I'll just show you uh, what the trick looks like with the P-Switch. All right, so that is the P-Switch uh, item wall jump, and basically that's what it looks like. You throw the item back and forth off the wall while you're wall jumping until you get to the top so that you can bring that item with you. All right, so here's how you do the trick. Basically, you just walk up to the wall that you plan to start jumping from, and then you're holding the item, so you have to either hold X or Y, and then when you jump, you want to let go of both jump and uh, the grab button near the peak of your jump and then you'll see that the item bounces off the wall when Mario throws it and it kind of goes up in the air in a little arc behind Mario's head. So when the item is up in the air like that, that's when you want to jump off the wall and re-grab it. So when you let go of both inputs there, you want to jump and do grab immediately after. Um, so that you both jump off the wall and grab the item in the middle of the air, so That's what that looks like and then you pretty much just like fat finger the controller Just keep pushing jump and grab at the same time and then let letting go of them at the same time And yeah, it's actually really easy once you get the hang of it um, So I'll go ahead and slow this down for you guys so you can get a better feel for it and I'll show the inputs So yeah, you can pretty much do this with any uh, corridor as long as it's not too wide. You could go two wide corridors, or I think the uh, first one here is four, and then this one's five, and then I think we do six at the end. So yeah, it's pretty easy, and here's, I mean, you can do it on two as well if you really wanted to. Um, but yeah, the, the trick is pretty much the same no matter how wide the corridor is that you're jumping up. Uh, but it might just feel a little bit differently depending on how far you have to jump. It might might take a few more jumps to uh, go up wider corridors. But uh, yeah, you can even incorporate like the spin into the jumps as well if they're a little bit wider. Um, pretty much the same thing except in the middle of your jump, you'll be doing the uh, twirl. But yeah, so that is pretty much it. And uh, this last trick here, which is a little bit tricky, um, so you have to do a spring jump, but if you do a regular spring jump here, um, you don't get the height that you need and you're pretty much just screwed. So I incorporated the item uh, wall jump and a spring jump into one fluid motion trick, and it actually looks really cool, so you want to do the item wall jump off of this wall and then immediately do a spring jump uh, when you have that extra height. So here we go. And there you have it. And there's an extra life there at the end. 
So that is pretty much all I have time for today. I hope you guys can learn this trick yourselves and start doing it in your uh, games. So like I said, this level is uploaded for you guys to play if you want to check that out. The ID is down below in the description. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to leave a like and comment below. But until next time, I'm out.